so we are officially in New Mexico. So we left Arkansas and we drove through Oklahoma and we stayed last night. We had to stay overnight. We just got a room and we got back on the road this morning, got into Texas, drove through Texas, and now we are in New Mexico. So can you explain to us what we are going to be doing in New Mexico? In New Mexico is where um, a few things are there. One thing is our vehicle, our Forester, our Subaru Forester, that we've decided to pick up and use to, um, since we can't tow it, we're going to caravan with it, um, so we can have a vehicle besides our RV. Also, our clothes and like extra stuff, just like all sorts of things are at my friend's house in New Mexico, so I'm going to get, like I forgot to bring my gloves and my hat. I don't know what I was thinking, you know, and there's some other stuff there. So pick that up, um, work on some stuff with the, getting the title on the vehicle because that was the, the whole thing with that in the mail. And then just explore the West a little bit because um, neither one of us has ever really hiked around that area. So we're going to go hike a little bit around Albuquerque and then after that, you know, see where we want to go and check it out. Yeah, so we're... We're staying in a private RV park yep. outside of Albuquerque for like a week. Yep. So what I'm gonna do, I know she's gonna be over at her friend's house yep. a lot, but there's lots of really, really cool trails like in driving distance from Albuquerque. So I'm gonna be hiking those trails, exploring those trails. She's gonna come with me a few of the times, but yeah. she'll be over at her friend's sometimes yeah, too. Yeah, I don't get to see her that So much. it'll just be me on some days. Yeah, but anyways, um, Yes, New Mexico is completely different, of course, from the East Coast. So Oklahoma is this. Oklahoma, Oklahoma, Texas was just Texas. And now New Mexico is starting to look a little interesting. So we will see what it is. But um, once we get there and get settled, of course, we will get back with y'all. All right. Good morning, y'all. It is Monday, November 22nd, mm -hmm. and we are on a different planet. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're right. in New Mexico. Um, let them know about where we're at and everything. She knows Albuquerque. this area a lot better than I do. Yeah, a little bit better. I haven't been over here in a while, but we're in Albuquerque, and we're in the foothills of, I guess, the Sandia Mountains. Sandia, by the way, is... Spanish for watermelon, and they're named that because the sun sets, I think it's the setting, um, against them and makes them look like watermelon. It makes them look pink. Nice. But anyway, so we're going, there's tons of trails here, and so far it's been kind of hard to tell where you're supposed to turn, so they're not blazed like what we're used to. I guess maybe because there's no trees. I don't yeah. Know. <laughs> I, I think it was a local guy, he's saying, calling them social trails. Like, yeah. Just, know. you know, I guess they're just kind of like the trails that mend are off. On the east coast but yeah. they're so much more distinct because of the woods and you can tell how much they're trampled down here they just look it's all the same so different yeah it's yeah cool, though. this is my first hiking experience in the west for yeah. sure and it's a completely different environment very what i thought the cdt when i think of the mm -hmm. southern portions of the cdt would look like so i'm excited mm -hmm. i am super excited so what's this trail called uh, the Oso Ridge Trail. The Oso Ridge Trail. So we are going to keep on hiking and we are going to bring y'all along. And of course, we will get back with y'all. All right.
So how do you feel? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's more like Katahdin. That's how I feel. Yeah? This is hard. So, okay, so we started at about, we were already at about 5,000 something feet elevation when we started. So that's a little, a little higher than I'm used to. And then in less than a mile, we've gained another 1,000 feet. So it's, it's, it's a pretty intense trail anyway. And I've never claimed to have great cardio, but. Yeah, and it went you started. You want to have some nice cardio on Way this down one. there. I think we have to still go <laughs> no, up no. there, no? Nope, I'm denying that. <laughs> yes, uh, we are yeah. going up there. We're it's not okay. done going up. It's okay. Yeah, maybe. We'd, I think we'd need like a mile. Maybe it's gonna, a higher elevation knocking the wind out I'm of I'm sure, a little yeah. Bit. I mean, it's pretty steep, but it's all uphill. So there's no like up and down. It's all up. But also, yeah, yeah for sure, the elevation. This is like what happens to people if they do the Colorado Trail without acclimating and stuff like that. Like you just, well, I don't have elevation sickness, but. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's just my body's not used to that. You know, I'm like, oxygen, please. My mind's not used to <laughs> no, trees no trees or greenery, really. <laughs> Where are the trees? Hey y'all, so we are up here taking a break. We're on the ridge, but it's a roller coaster ridge. <laughs> um, we're still going up pretty much. Um, but the thing is, is yeah, the I can definitely, man, I'm surprised how high do you think we are? Uh, I think we're at nearly 7,000 maybe, six, 7,000 feet. That makes sense. I mean, <laughs> I don't know if I've been at 7,000 feet my whole life, to be honest. <laughs> I've been out west before, but I spent most of my time and uh like san diego and um baja so yeah mexico and that's not it's low so yeah and i surfed i wasn't hiking back then <laughs> so yeah man we are winded um but it's fun it's nice it's beautiful but it's we're so gonna cool. we're gonna have to take our time mm -hmm. um the trail's easier as far as like hiking um because there's not a lot of rocks and roots there's rocks but it's not real you know but um but good footing but yeah but the, um, it's just like very it's pretty i don't know what the grade is but a pretty decent incline for sure yeah steep mm -hmm. all right <laughs> we will get back with y'all
All right, y'all. So we made it to the top to where we're going to stop anyways. Yeah. <laughs> um, but man, it it's a butt kicker. Uh -huh. Don't you think? Oh, yeah. It was rated hard. I guess they meant that. That was accurate. Yeah, and it goes straight <laughs> up. I mean, the ridge is like, mm, and it does mm, like that. It's just straight up. But as you can see by the footage, it is amazing. Look at that. That's what I expect, like, Colorado to look like, kind of. Mm -hmm. Something like that, a view. Man, it's so cool here. It's, it's awesome. so different and just really cool. Yeah. The one thing, though, is no water. We haven't seen any water. Oh, no. Yeah. Mm. Uh, in the reviews, it said there's some springs, but don't rely on them. Right. Because, right. I mean, it's, you know, it's the desert. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> Minor, on a mountain in the desert. Yeah. But super, super cool. So it's awesome. we're going to just hang out here a little bit, take yep. a break, and then we're going to hike back. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we will get back with y'all. <laughs> All right.
All right, y'all. So we finished the trail and we are pretty much back to the parking lot. Yep. It was an awesome trail. So um, beautiful. Yeah, super cool. Views. It was, um, what was it, Eight, over 8,000 feet, right? Yeah, we went from around 5,000 to over 8,000. And our lungs felt it. Oh, yeah, man. <laughs> Dude, I felt it for sure, man. But that's the highest um, altitude I've hiked yeah. in my hiking career. Yeah. So it was, it was awesome, cool. man. So we're we're awesome. going to be here for a whole week. So... And we're going to be hiking a bunch of these trails. Yeah. There's so many of them. So I'm probably going to be making a bunch of videos, just like hiking videos of the different trails around here. And um, yeah, I'm stoked, man. It's, it's super really fun, cool. super yeah. awesome. So we are going to head back to the car and go back to the RV mm -hmm. and call it a day. And we will talk with y'all in the morning. All right.